so we have managed to relocate on the female leopard here at the most western boundary of Arethusa. So thank you so much for being patient with us when I was trying to find out where to go from the other guy from Arethusa. It was such a, a vital thing for us, for me and Dave, to then come and find this beautiful looking female leopard. And I'm not sure who it is at the moment. So excited to be with a, with a, new, a new leopard this afternoon, especially on a new property. It just makes me feel that much more happier, you know, to come here, work this place and get a bit more practice in this area and learn these leopards. So here we are with a magnificent, oh, there we go, beautiful yawn. So who might you be? I'm just gonna get my binoculars out. If any of the viewers out there that know maybe which female leopard this is, please let us know. Hashtag Safari Love. We would love to know what your thoughts are on which female they are with at the moment. I'm just gonna get my binoculars and see what the spot pattern might be. This beautiful female. Managed to relocate on the female leopard here at the most western boundary of Arethusa. So thank you so much for being patient with us when I was trying to find out where to go from the other guy from Arethusa. It was such a, a vital thing for us, for me and Dave, to then come and find this beautiful looking female leopard. And I'm not sure who it is at the moment. So excited to be with a, with a, new, a new leopard this afternoon, especially on a new property. It just makes me feel that much more happier, you know, to come here, work this place and get a bit more practice in this area and learn these leopards. So here we are with a magnificent, oh, there we go, beautiful yawn. So who might you be? I'm just going to get my binoculars out. If any of the viewers out there that know maybe which female leopard this is, please let us know. Hashtag Safari Love. We would love to know what your thoughts are on which female are uh, with at the moment. I'm just going to get my binoculars and see what the spot pattern might be. This beautiful female. So where in Arethusa are we? Well, let's just show you where we are. There we go. So I've got a map here for you that I can show you exactly where we are in Arethusa. I thought I've been using it's quite dirty. But for now, come down and point yourself right there. That's exactly where we are on Seafus Pan. So, We've driven quite a distance this afternoon to come and find this female leopard. And she's over here at Seif's Pan. So we drove. What we did was we came in from the airstrip, which is here. And we drove all the way down and round to Seif's Pan. And that's how we found her. So very, very excited that we managed to find her. Isn't she beautiful? So let's try it a little bit closer to her. Maybe we can get another visual. These cameras are incredible. You don't even have to go closer. You can get lock in right in there and not disturb her at all from a distance. So I can't quite see the spot pattern at the moment. So I'm going to get my binoculars on and have a look from a distance. It's like a four spot pattern from here on the right. Let's just go a little bit closer because then maybe Dave will be able to zoom even closer and we can get a little bit more of an affirmation of who she is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down and then back there so you can have a visual of her beautiful face. I'm so excited to find a leopard. We really wanted to see a leopard this on Dave. So we tell the difference between leopards by looking at the spot pattern and 
and if you look at the leopard's face now you'll see three stripes down by the mouth and then if you look above those three stripes the last line of dots Karula, the beautiful Karula. So this is so exciting to be sitting with another female. Hopefully we can find out soon who it is. Her eyes. She does look like she's quite old. There we go. She. Wow, look at her. So it's good to be back with a leopard. It's been some time. The last I was with Karoo. Now we're here with. The stomach seems to be quite full. So it looks like she has eaten. got a beautiful golden look to her. Wow, she is really, really beautiful. So it's still getting quite late in the day. Still got quite a bit of drive left, so there's every chance that she might get up and start walking and scent marking. And I'll be so, so grateful if she did. She jumped up and showed us how where she walks to because that's the best way to learn a little bit more about a leopard and her, what she likes to do is understanding her habits. What trees does she like to set mark on? What path does she like to follow? Because so they all have their own kind of characteristics and personalities in terms of their territory. So the more that you get to know their territory, the better it is to track these leopards. So it's actually my first leopard on Arethusa. Very, very, very cool. So some of the viewers are saying it could be, I think it's Kalayeshi. Salageshi, that's Salageshi. Oh, there, look at that. Hello. Beautiful. Just wow. The sun, the last rays of the sun are now coming through the clouds towards the end of this day. She's going to be catching those last rays, and that's going to show you that beautiful golden look of this female leopard. That could be you, so this could be our very first meeting with you. I haven't seen the other side of her face yet. There we go. So can we have can we go closer there, Dave? Just to have a look at that spot pattern on the other side. One, two, three. I'm counting three, so it might be four, three. So she, you can see she's quite relaxed with us there. She's, she's very relaxed with the two vehicles here. So I think she gets seen quite a lot, so she's been habitualized, which means that she's, she's been seen a lot by vehicles. She doesn't get bothered so much by the vehicle. Whereas if you go down towards the different boundary, maybe the Kruger boundaries, where they, you don't see as many vehicles. Some of the leopards there are quite skittish, which means that when they see a vehicle, they run off. And you know, this could actually very well be the leopard that I saw, because I went tracking yesterday. I found leopard tracks yesterday. I don't know if anyone was on drive with me when I went off into the bush there to see if I can find a leopard. And I got to a termite mound. Oh, look at that. And all of a sudden, I just felt, I just heard something jump off onto the ground and run and I was so sure that it was a leopard because of there, there she goes, here she comes. Wow, look at that. So here she comes, she's going to come straight towards us. She came straight in between our vehicle. Wow, she just 
سیب بختانه مرسی گاز She's going to be mocking a tree. Beautiful, as she does. Look how big she's a very slender looking leopard. She looks like she's going to be crossing or scent marking, right? She's going to scent mark. There we go. That's fascinating, isn't it? Look at that. There she goes. So she might be heading in a westerly direction. I'm not sure. It was incredible. When she walked past my vehicle here, yeah. she might go to the toilet. Let's go a little bit closer to her. Let's see if I can go to the left. So this is where we went looking for her a little bit earlier. So she just went to the toilet. She might just head down this road and let's go and sit here. Let's see what she does. There she goes. So she's now heading away from our area. I'm just gonna let this car come past me just because I think he is able to follow her into the next area. There you can see her coming past. No worries. She's just over there. You just see her walking off into the distance. Okay. So let's get into a nice position where you can move her. So. So when, when she was walking past my vehicle, she sent marked on my wheel, which was the reason why I, I, I was in the way there. Because I was walking past and I was curious to see what she was doing there. So she actually sent marked on my wheel, which was quite interesting. And then she carried on moving down towards this drainage line. This line of trees and where she likes to move. If there's every chance that she might move now towards the drainage line and away from us. Look at the way she's lying down. Let's look at her tail. Look at her all the way down from her tail to her head. And look at the nice rosettes coming all the way down to the tail. And just look at the end there. You'll see a little bit of white at the end of the tail there. Often when she's stalking some animal, such as an impala or a kudu or something like that, they and signal the antelope to show that they've been seen. So as soon as they've been seen by another antelope, they lift that tail to say, okay, you've seen me, yeah, she's off again. Okay. So we're going down there. This is, that'll be going off into another area. She's going to send Mark there. Yes, she's lying down again. Isn't that fantastic? I saw that she looked quite full. Didn't notice that. But she could very well be pregnant and that would be really, really interesting if she was pregnant because then we have Karula, we've got Nkanyeni, we've already had cubs. But now we've got a new female that could be pregnant. That would be fascinating. 
I'm going to go a little bit forward. I'd love for you to see her face a bit more. So this is literally the edge of how far we can go. Just need to chat to the radio. There she is. So it's just the two of us down here, which means that we can spend as much time with her as we want. There she goes. She looks like she's going to go down into the drainage line. She's going very close to the track. There. She's going to be lying up there. I'm going to reverse up this hill. You'll be able to see it from the distance. What is she doing? This is so cool to watch her like this. Look at it. What is she doing? <laughs> and she's off. That could be the last that we see of her. There we go. Thank you. 